Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I am taking a photo that honestly, it's just a throwaway shot. And I'm just trying to turn it into something that's, you know, maybe worth looking at. I don't know. We'll decide or I'll decide. No, you'll decide actually. I've already decided it is worth looking at at the end. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the thing is, let me show you the photo. Here it is. It's a full service car wash just on a street here in Austin. It's that boring of a photo. We're going to make it a little bit better looking, but honestly, you know, garbage in, garbage out. It's not a great shot, but here's the thing. If you're like me, you're dying to go places and we can't really go places. So I'm taking lots of photos around Austin and I'm using this as time to just kind of exercise that creative muscle to get out, just take some shots. I don't really care if they're throwaway shots. I've sold photos to people that are much less than this one, believe it or not. So it's not about you know, is it gonna be a great shot or is it gonna sell or am I gonna be super proud of it? For me, it's an opportunity to flex that creative muscle, exercise, keep working out so that when I do get to go places, I've done some stuff in this time that allow me to kind of get somewhere and be able to do similar things, maybe in better locations. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at scenes, I'm looking at lines, I'm looking at composition, all that kind of stuff. And more than anything, I'm practicing and I'm having fun. I'm starting here in Composition AI and I'm gonna go to 16 by nine. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. And one thing that I found is that when I click here for perspective correction for the verticals, it didn't do anything. It's happening for me every now and then on some photos. I don't really know why, um, but that's okay because I have vertical correction here. I can just move this, which I do. I'm trying to get that left side a little bit straighter. And here's a really cool thing you can do is this horizontal allows me to drag that right hand side around like that. Now I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to go to about 10. So uh, the photo is still kind of dark. You can't quite see all this, but we're going to fix that in a second. The only thing that this doesn't do for me is fix verticals on both sides of the photo. The verticals on the right hand side are still kind of tilted, whereas it's a little bit straighter on the left. It is what it is. It's not an amazing shot, as I said, but Composition AI most of the time is doing a great job for me. This time it does a, it does a good job for me manually, but it's not perfect. I'm just pointing out that I'm coming across that occasionally. Um, a photo like this, honestly, because it's not that great of a shot, I'm just starting with Accent AI and just throwing some stuff at it to see what happens. And I'm going to go to about 40, 41 here. And the photo's perking up. It was sunset, as you can see. I was actually shooting a neon sign that was about 10 yards behind me. And I saw the sun setting over the building. And I knew that if I shot at a really tight aperture, this was f22, I'd get that nice little bit of sun ray there, um, which I did. So um, I've done that. I've got to check my notes here. I'm now going to warm it up a little bit because it is a, uh, a sunset. I'm going to give it a just a tiny touch of tint. Um, a little bit of smart contrast. Well, a little bit. I'm getting it about 49. I'm going to drop the highlights pretty significantly, something about like that. And I am going to bump up the shadows, uh, you know, 27, 28, something like that. So, you know, it's looking better. Again, garbage in, garbage out. I'm not here to tell you this is going to be a great shot. Ooh, you know what? I forgot to straighten it. Let me, uh, let me do that real quick. I totally missed that. There we go. I think that's better. One of the things about editing a dark photo without brightening it first, you don't notice things like that. Looks a little bit better now that it's a little bit straighter. So I did my stuff in the light tool and now I'm gonna go to structure AI and I just wanna add you know, a, a crunch, if you will, to the stuff in the bottom of the photo. So that's where the masking comes in. I'm gonna get a gradient mask and I'm just gonna slap this across kind of the bottom of the photo, tilt it a little bit, drag that a little higher here, maybe a slight more tilt. Um, I just like to expand that gradient zone and maybe pull that back a little bit. Something about like that, all I'm trying to do is just get that accent AI to, or excuse me, that structure AI to go across the bottom, give it a little bit of crunch in that area because let's face it, it's mostly concrete and stuff. It needs to have a little bit of crunch in my uh, opinion. So I've done that and because it's a sunset, golden hour in my book is basically a required slider on any sunset simply because I think it looks nice. So it gives a nice warm glow to the uh, overall photo. And so far, you know what? It's not bad. Hey, we're starting with something that's really not that great, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit better. I'm going to go get a basic local mask. And what I want to do here is do a little bit for the sky. So I'm going to give it a little bit of warmth. I'm going to take the structure down uh, a fair amount, like negative 50 or so. And I'm going to give it a little bit of vibrance as well, just because I like to. 
And then once again, gradient mask is your friend. Uh, when I cover wide areas that cross uh, from side to side on a photo, I pretty much use a gradient mask for that. I'm gonna give that a pretty good um, gradient there, you know, kind of that zone, maybe stretch that a little bit more, something about like that. And I, you know what, I think it's in fine location. So there we go. If I hit the forward slash key, you can see where my mask is applying. So I basically warmed up, reduced structure or softened and add a little vibrance to the area that's in red. I think we're good there. And I'm gonna get one more basic local mask. And here I'm gonna give it a little bit of an exposure bump, a little bit of a contrast bump and take down the shadows just a tiny bit as well. And actually maybe a tiny bit more of an exposure bump, something about like that. And that is a global overall kind of thing. In other words, that edit is applying to the entire photo. And this is something I do a lot is um, after I've used the light tool and made adjustments, I can't go back and use it again, of course, because um, you can't duplicate filters. So I come over here and get a basic local mask and just do some of the same things that I would do in the light tool, but I do them here and I don't mask it in. I just treat it as a global adjustment because that's what it is. The only other thing I think I wanna do is go back to light and maybe adjust that temperature a little bit more to give myself a tiny bit more of kind of that sunset kind of look. And also I'm sensing a little bit of a green in the, uh, in the photo, but you know, adjusting this tint away from the green to the right towards that magenta helps. And that's my photo, my friends. It's not amazing. It's a full service car wash. But again, uh, sort of flexing or exercising those creative muscles, I'm looking for lines. Now that you can see it, you know, I'm, I'm frankly drawn to things like this anyway. I like abandoned stuff. I like kind of Americana stuff that just looks like America. This is something you see in every town in America. So for those of you that have been here or live here like I do, you know what I'm talking about. You see this kind of stuff. And if I get some decent light, a beautiful sky, I'm not opposed to taking a photo of a full surface car wash with a nice sunset behind it. And again, it gives me the opportunity to practice my um, shot making, if you will, in the field. And of course, my editing as well when I get home to kind of go and accentuate some of the things I like about the photo, which is I wanna bring up the light so I can see those lines. I like those crisscrossing lines where they're going that way. You've got the lines of the car wash structure going up. You've got the roof going that way. And then you've got that sunburst over there. A little bit of color, a little bit of texture, things like that just all come together and allow me to make a photo that, you know, I don't want to say I'm proud of. I'm not here to say it's a nice photo. It's an okay photo. It's a car wash. I mean, it's a nice sunset, but you know, hey, you work with what you get. Um, I was happy to get a decent shot out of something that really didn't start off that great. Let me show you how we started. There it is, dark, kind of boring, a couple of spots in the sky. I took those out before I started recording this video. And if I do the sliding window thing, you can kind of see what we did to this photo. Brought that car wash structure a little bit closer based on using the composition tool. Cropped it, straightened it, did a number of things. Bumped up the color, bumped up some of the details, softened the detail in the sky. Just had fun, to be honest. And that's what this is about. It's a dull photo. It's kind of boring, but in some ways, it's beautiful. And hey, you know what? I'm out there taking photos, practicing. I'm taking a lot of photos in my hometown. I'm kind of sick of my hometown, to be honest, because I've taken so many photos in the last few months because I got fed up of staying at home. We're not under a strict lockdown here. We're able to go out. So I've been going out like in the mornings or in the evenings when it's kind of quiet and I can make sure that I social distance. As you can see, I'm not near anybody in this uh, photo. Plus the car wash was closed. So I'm doing those kind of things, just getting out, taking lots of photos, and frankly, practicing, as I said. This is an art, we get better at it by doing it. I'm out trying to do it, and then I'm bringing the photos into Luminar AI and trying to make them better. I think I succeeded, it's not amazing, but you know, it doesn't matter. I had fun doing it. I'm gonna stick it on Flickr and let some people look at it. And you know what, if nobody looks at it, that's okay too because I did it for me. Anyway, that's what I'm doing, my friends. Hope that you're staying safe. Hope that you're out able to take a few photos wherever you are, and hope you uh, get some nice light when you do it. Thanks for watching, my friends. Take care of yourselves out there. Have fun editing. I'll see you soon, and adios.